Hey, what's up guys? So, playing some E-Heroes. Opened up pretty good. I really like this hand. As the artifact is okay. And we're probably gonna add Ocean. I think Ocean's a really good card to add. Because uh, good. Add this to our hand. And then we can set... We'll just set this. I'm feeling pretty comfortable setting this. I, well, actually, I'll set this too. Set two. Um, I actually am gonna bump... Forbidden Lance down to one. It's not as good as I thought it was. Um, originally, why I was playing it was because bottomless trap holes everywhere, and I hated getting bottomless trap holes. It really hurt a lot. So I'm gonna add Ilias to our hand. Uh, I really just hated getting my um, my shining. My shining always got bottomless. So I'm like, well, I'll just try it. You know, Forbidden Lance, see how that goes. It honestly doesn't work too well. Oh, I can overlay. Ooh, do I have a call? Uh, which I set called haunted. Uh, then I can go back to Stratos. Um, Let's see, what do I want to go for? I go for 17 to Jin, which is a good card. But I'd rather use the Gemini Spark. And I will be setting three, which is not something I'm a fan of, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Some. Or I can save it. I'll save it. I'll save it. Because I've got a lot of good cards, and I got Warning. But Lance is pretty decent. Oh, Terry of Cherries. Maybe I'm playing against plants. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I, I know how plants run. Well, I know how Pink Reaper's deck runs, and I'm pretty sure um, he, this guy is using similar a uh, similar deck to it. Um, okay, because I hate drawing like multiple chairs. It just that's not very fun. Um, so we'll destroy one more. <laughs> oh, he actually said Pink Reaper deck. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I know how this deck plays, and it doesn't run any back row. So um, I, I want to set this, but then that that just is that's literally asking to lose by Heavy Storm. So I'll just end it right there. Um, I just have to stop his plays. Ooh, Heavy Storm. And I mean, I could activate Lance on something, but uh, either one, if I activate Lance on another one, he would just mind control the other one. So I'm glad I didn't um, <laughs> set Gemini Spark, because that would be asking for a loss. So he's viewing his graveyard, so let's see what he has. If he has Doppel Warrior, um, he could potentially go for, like, Quasar. It's really easy to go for Quasar in that deck. Um, like, the junk play is so good. Like, Junk Singer on Get Back Cherries, and then uh, Special Doppel is just just becomes insane. Um, I still have Call of Haunted, I still have a Gemini Spark. So, I mean, I could still get rid of pretty much whatever he gets out. Hopefully, unless he goes for Stardust, because if he goes for Stardust, I really won't have too many answers. Uh, unless I draw into Miracle Fusion, and that answers it immediately. Um, going for Absolute Zero is really good against this deck, too, just because, unless he has Dark Hole. If he has Dark Hole, he has Dark Hole. So he heavies, and I guess he's gonna crash, which is okay. Um, I mean, generally, I don't like to do that with Sang. I would have just set the Sang in. I feel like it was better. As well as, like, when I, when I like to use Heavy Storm, I like to use it and, like, go for a play, not just Heavy, and then and your opponent ends up setting three later because you've already used your Heavy Storm. So he's going to add Dandy. So maybe he can go for a Quick Draw play. Maybe he just wants to get out Quick Draw right now, which is a possibility. So, yeah, he's going to go for a Quick Draw play, but he can't attack with it. He can get rid of it. And then I can just set Gemini Spark so he can't use its effect again. Um. So let's see what he uh, discards. I'm pretty sure he's going to make uh, Drill Warrior, because that's generally the only thing that uh, people go for with uh, Quick Draw. I mean, you can make other things, but most of the time it's just that card. Let's see what he makes. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go, he went for Drill Warrior. And he's going to flip Cherries, and he can go for an 8 now. Or he's going to go for Formula? And then go for... So he gets to draw one, and is he gonna leave point like that? Like just to draw? One? I don't feel like that's worth it, and I don't think there's what is it? The seven. Uh, I don't think there's a nine because I know you can go for Miscorm. Miscorm requires uh, two non-tuners, and so I don't think. He, I mean, if he, I'm just gonna go for. I'm just gonna go for something. Um, I'm trying to think of what he's gonna go for. I don't know anything off the top of my head. Oh, that, that's an 8. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, that is 8. I, I don't know if I agree with that because this is not in battle phase. Oh, he's got Monster Reborn too. Okay. That's okay. I thought he was going to go for a shoot. Uh, what is that? 
the one that that has shooting shooting star dragon because I can get over this. This is no problem to get over this. Um, I mean, he's used two power cards already. Drill effect. Okay. Because right now, in this situation, I can already get rid of. Um, and he's frag doesn't really do anything at this point. Um, because I can just overlay and run over that. I can book a moon that with Symphony to Jin and run over that. Um, which is probably what I'm going to do. I could go for Excalibur to deal hefty damage instead of warning too. I get that everything. Um, I probably am going to go for Symphony to Jin Just because I like Because I don't want to get Dark Hold. And so we are going to go for Symphony to Jin. I guess if I get Valerid, it won't really hurt too bad. So we will book moon Stardust. Oh, that's fortunate. That was that was a huge misplay. <laughs> um, I, I, I for some reason I thought this had twenty one hundred attack. <laughs> so that is super misplay on my end, and I will be punished for it. Maybe I can draw a miracle fusion, and no, it's not miracle fusion. And say so if I draw a miracle fusion, then that will kind of cancel out my bad play. But I should have went for Excalibur, Excalibur, attack over it. That's what I should have done. Um, but yeah, definitely that probably wasn't the best play. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's at two. And I, I can, however, warning him. Because he is brought back by his own effect. You cannot solemn judgment him, but you can warning him. I have a Call of the Haunted. Not the best card, but it'll allow me to exceed next turn. Um, and, I, and I have Stratos, so Stratos will let me search out one card too. Um, I mean, I, felt, I really felt like he's used a lot of his power cards. Uh, his, oh, Torgain. Yep, he can go for Torgain and activate the effect. I really just wanted to make him go minus with Drill Warrior, because he did kind of go minus um, early on in the game, but he plus one off formula. Let's see what he makes. Um, I mean, I guess he can make his end mains. That's my guess, at least. Making Zen Mains wouldn't be a bad idea. No, I'm gonna go for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm completely okay with that. That doesn't, I mean, I could just detach. I'll take 700 damage. Um, oh wait, is that right? right here. So it's, it's five plus two. I can't even do five plus. Look how bad I am at math. My excuse is it's late at night. I've been playing way too much Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to, just in case I want to duality, I'm, just, I'm going to need to do this anyways, so. And this is during his turn, so he can't Valor. Um, so we will get back. Hey, let's see what should we get. We already have an ocean. I'd rather just add the alias. Okay. All right. Oh, Psalm Judgment. That's a really good card. Um, well, this card's good, this card's also... I don't feel like Alias is too necessary for me right now. So I'm going to summon this. We're going to overlay these two. And we will make... Should we make Excalibur? That's pretty much all I think I can make. But another Symphony to Jin, which I wish I did sometimes. Please don't have failure. Well, I, he had failure before battle phase, anyways. Fifteen hundred and set solemn judgment, and we're pretty good for now. Um, I mean, I, I have a decent field. Plus, I have solemn judgment, so I have a good option to negate whatever he does. I mean, he got off his place uh, one for one. I'm gonna discard level eater, and let's see what special summons. My guess will be like Valor, and he's gonna attempt to go for a Synchro. I was gonna go for Tuning Wear, okay. Okay. And then whatever he summons, I can solve him. <laughs> Unless he tributes for Caius. And he doesn't have anything to trade, right? He's already used Reborn, so. I'm trying to think of what he's trying to go for. This card's good. And I have Light and Dark. Maybe I should. <laughs> I should play. <laughs> Uh, Black Lives of Soldier in here. <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough playing without Tour Guide, and I'm doing it without Black Lives of Soldier. I should put it in here. What other darks do I go for? I can make Catastrophe if I reborn um, 
his uh, beer force. No. Solemn judgment. Uh, what is half that? I, I got I got my calculator. I got this. Uh, <laughs> all right. So um, fifty three hundred divided by two is twenty six fifty. That's pretty hard. He's actually wrong. Twenty five to seventy five? No, I got it. <laughs> but I couldn't. Ha I couldn't have done that with by myself. I had to have the calculator. Um, and he has no more plays. He there's no spore. Spore's banned. Same with bullet bulb. So and poor tuning wear all by himself. And ooh, that's pretty good too. And he can't even. He can't come out of this at all. Um, even dark hole. I mean, I could just special thrasher. <laughs> he has 100 life though, technically. I don't think he can top, he literally cannot top deck out of this. It, it's, what could he possibly top deck into? I'm trying to think. Um, Dark Hole's the only thing I can think of, really. I, or he, I mean, he could technically, uh, and there's nothing he can do. If he had a dandelion, it would technically saw him for a bit, so. Add this to my hand. Uh, like I do straddle so much in the stack, so I really feel like Call of the Haunted is really viable. Same with the, the ocean, like running double oceans, perfectly fine with me. Um, actually, what I should have done was I guess I could have added Alias because Gemini Spark is almost useless. Um, add the last ocean, uh, which we overlay for. Um, oh, I you know, I forgot. I need to put Roach in here. Roach is really good. Uh, yeah, it, did, it didn't really matter anyways. I um, I had so much cards. I think it was... What, what made him go so minus? Um, oh, he's playing it a little bit different. I don't think Pink Reaper plays Quill unless that was some new addition that he had that I don't know about. But I'm pretty sure that... Um, yeah. Okay. So I guess this guy loves Pink Reaper. He wanted me to tell him that. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you, mean, you could see how the deck played, and I believe... I don't think he made any misplays. Was, okay, he went technically minus for the Drill Warrior play and, like, the Stardust. Like, he went all in, almost setting up for himself to lose because he had zero back row, and that. And I play E-Heroes, and I had two heroes out, so you should know that I can get over Stardust. What well, I should have... I actually made one misplay, too. I felt like uh, going for that Gemini Spark play, especially against the Plant deck, probably wasn't that good of an idea. What I should have done is made Excalibur and just straight up attacked over it. Not one for the Gemini Spark play. But again, it's because I thought this card had 2100 attack. I totally forgot and I spaced and it has 1800. It has 2300 defense though. But uh, thanks for watching guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.